presented by State Farm. We are getting ready for coaches. We are getting ready for players because the Lakers clinched the series and they are moving on to the conference semifinals. I'm Lauren Jabara. That's Renee Montgomery. That's Isaiah Thomas. And the Lakers just put up a 40 piece Oof. on the Memphis Grizzlies. This is the first time that a seven seed has beat a two seed since 20. 10. Wow. What did you see? Wait, did my man say, I don't, I don't respect nobody until you give <laughs> me 40? <laughs> you gotta be careful what you say. <laughs> it's like, bam. Wow. You asked for the 40, here's the 40. Here's the 40. <laughs> it is the largest series clinching win by a LeBron James team wow. in his entire career, which is pretty incredible out of any team that he's been on. But 40 piece. They did it. They served Dylan Brooks. What do you think about the Lakers and their performance tonight? Listen, I tweeted this, but Rob Palenka has to be insufferable to everybody around him, friends, family, because he knows that we all know that he did his thug thizzle in the trade <laughs> deadline. I mean, look at what we were saying about yeah. the Lakers before yeah. the trade yeah. deadline and look at what we're about to say right now. It's unbelievable. It's a 180 turnaround. So shouts to the front office because, you know, we do that. Absolutely. So I'm always yeah. gonna, I'm going to yeah. notice when you get yourself out of a yeah. situation. But, I mean, that's what you call locked in. They're not 40 points better than the mm. Memphis Grizzlies. They're not. But what they did, how they handled it, that play that we just showed by AD, locked in. It was demoralizing. It was every – I mean, LeBron was chilling all fourth quarter. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> AD yeah. was chilling all fourth quarter. Yeah. It was just – that's exactly what you would ask for of your team at home. And, and not only on the offensive side, but, you know, I, I always go to the defense, right? And holding this team to 85 points, you know, that, that's, that's when you make the statement. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not how many points I score on you. It's how many times I stop you from scoring. That's what's frustrating, right? When, mm -hmm. you, when you're playing in games like this and you can't score, your first option is gone. I, my second option is gone. My third option is gone. I mean, and defensively, you know, they just had them spinning, right? Mm. It, it was a total lockdown, great defensive effort by the Lakers. 29 for 96, the Memphis Grizzlies were shooting 30.2% mm. from the field. And I know LeBron James, after game five, he said he played bad. He's going to come out and give his team better in game six. He was at the arena at 2.20 p.m. Pacific time for a 7.30 tip-off. Yeah. Just <laughs> when you see that, he has 22 points, and he only played three of the four quarters. That's leadership. I mean, that's a, all right, I'm going to make sure I don't have that same type of game. And what's crazy is LeBron, on the team that he's in now, he doesn't have to do a certain level of scoring. If he does, look, you'll take it. I mean, those are the type of buckets you want to see LeBron get. He doesn't have to make three-pointers. He doesn't have to do a lot of things, but he has to be this LeBron that's locked in, making plays for his teammates, going downhill. You could just feel that all of the players, I mean, we mm -hmm. talked about Austin Reeves before the game. He's one of those players that I'm, I'm sure is going to go out and get a bucket, but LeBron has the luxury with the team around him now that if he's that leader that draws attention, creates plays for everyone else, at, by the way, he's, I know we don't want to call, talk about his age, but this man, what he's doing, we're talking about these quick turnarounds for the Golden State yeah. Warriors. That was one of the things we talked about. Oh, they look fatigued. LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's aging like a fine wine, 38 what? years old, and he's playing like he was at 28 years old. It's pretty incredible, right? A aging like a fine wine, playing like, you know, he's 22. Mm. But, but the key is, right, you know, he's always been defined by success, but he's always been prepared for the success, right? And close out game, get an opportunity to close out. What does he do? He gets to the arena at 2.30 to do yeah. what? To prepare and when preparation and opportunity come together that's when you have success you better right? give us the quote I like come it. on now he's preaching facts no 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 no, no. hey it's true, clo though. close out game all right i'm at the arena at 2 30 i'm getting prepared mm -hmm. because guess what i'm getting ready to do i'm getting ready to close, close out, out. <laughs> <laughs> okay you got one job. You got, i got one job <laughs> and guess what i got the opportunity yeah. Now the opportunity is here. You know, a lot of players, right, when the opportunity presents themselves, what they do? They wait, mm. and then they show up hoping for success. LeBron James, the opportunity is there. I'm going to prepare, and then I'm going to close out, and now I got success. And Coach can smile at the press conference. <laughs> he can't smile at the press conference. Let's set it back out there here for Darvin Ham.